Hey, what is up my YouTube friends? We're out here in the early morning with this Umarex Cyrix pellet rifle in 22. We're going to take this out to the creek for some plinking fun, and I will tell you my thoughts on this budget-friendly rifle. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to roll in the footage. Here's me at the creek. Now one thing you're going to want to know about this rifle, it's very inexpensive. You can sometimes get this for under $100. I'll include a link below the video. In fact, I checked the price just this morning, currently going for $92 on US Amazon. $92, right? So this is a budget-friendly play, but is it worth the $92? It's got texture there for grip. It's got texture on the foregrip for more traction. Here's a look at the front sight, adjustable rear sight. And here's your view of those fiber optic sights, right? So green, we got red, and you notice that sight is, um, it's raised up quite a bit from the barrel. This also has a rail for the mounting of a scope. It's heavier than you would think, right? It's heavier than you would think. To me, that's actually a good thing because when I buy a rifle that's very inexpensive my first concern is that it's going to feel like a toy this does not feel like a toy okay because of the weight on this now when I first got this rifle a while ago I took some shots at the indoor range and I adjusted the rear sight so I'm going to roll in that footage so these were my very first shots with this rifle then we'll come back and talk more this was the first shot this was the second shot third shot so you get the idea. At this range, which is six or seven meters, right? we're in the indoor range, it's going to shoot low. So after each shot, I adjusted the rear sight, right? And so a higher, higher, higher. And basically right now, it's zeroed in, at least for this range. Okay, let's do one more shot just to make sure I got the hang of this thing. All right, can we, can we hit the bullseye there? Okay. Oh, looking good. We're ready for the big time. Now, according to Pyramid Air, the maximum FPS on this rifle is 900. All right, and again, that's uh, quoting Pyramid Air's uh, information and specifications. It's a brake barrel, right? So step one, break the barrel. Step two, pull the barrel. That exposes the breech. That's where the pellet is going to go. Is it difficult to pull the barrel? No, no. It's not especially strenuous to pull the barrel. Okay, my people, today we are going to be shooting these domed pellets, Predator alloy pellets. You take your pellet, you insert it into the breech, head first like so. Then you're going to straighten your barrel. This has an automatic safety. All right, the safety is right there, forward of the trigger. In order to fire, you have to push that forward like that. Oops, sorry. This is ready to fire. Okay, so the bottle is down there. All right. All right, there we go. And there we go. Right, it's pretty accurate at short range. Okay, YouTube, gonna shoot it from a little bit farther away. Got my laser range finder. That's about, about 16 yards. There you go. This thing's a lot of fun, definitely. Okay, while we are here, we might as well do the spam test. Basically, there's a hunk of meat in this spam tin, and I'm going to shoot it to simulate a small game animal that you might shoot. I'm gonna see if it shoots through. Okay, what's up? Say your prayers, spam tin.
I think it shot right through. Let's go check it out. Yep, it shot right through. All right, it actually shot right through. Let me uh, pull this label off so you can see. Boom. Okay, so you see that? That's the entrance wound. Shot all the way through. That's the exit wound. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot this bottle for fun and see what happens. All right, so we shot it right there. There you go. Okay, for bottle number two, I'm gonna give you a close-up. We'll see what happens. Shot through the heart. Yeah, we hit a dead center. And there. And we hit it about there. So it went through there. Boom! So, thoughts on this Cyrix? Is it worth it? I would say so. I'm happy with it. I mean, consider, it was $92. It's powerful enough to take small game. I would recommend it for small game pest control or just economical recreation. If you like air guns, be sure to subscribe. Remember, I do at least one air gun review every month and sometimes two or three new air guns every month. So you're gonna get a lot of air gun reviews in a year if you subscribe to me and I cover knives and other gear.